All right, are we are we taping? Are we live? Are we good? All right, so just trying to get a feel for things. This is episode 26 of MKI Ultra. Uh, we haven't recorded since 2022. Last episode was dropped in December. And uh, might be wondering, where you been, bud? What are you doing? You all right? You good? Yeah, we're good. So, uh, little changes in the new year. Some took about a month or so for some reflection and uh, balance and all that, all that gay stuff. You know, learning how to slow down and coming into the year with keeping what was working and disregarding what wasn't working for me. This is, this is my story, and I'm going to share it with you today on the MKI Ultra Show. <laughs> yeah. So it's been, it's, been a, it's been an exciting journey, to say the least. A lot of changes from uh, then to now, and we're going to talk about that. We're also going to try to get into some other observational stuff maybe some sports um got the super bowl tomorrow eagles chiefs eagles chiefs so yeah we'll we'll get into it we'll get into it uh the last time i did any podcasting i remember i had just gotten back from my euro trip just got back from my Euro trip. And uh, we're going to do this. We're going to go here. Uh, and then. All right, there we go. So just got back from the Euro trip. And uh, quick little update on what that looked like. So. Flew into London uh, December 10th or so and uh, was had a whole itinerary planned, booked, paid for. It was a two-week journey starting in London, ending in southern Italy, the homeland of the Paisano Familia. So what happened was... On the second city out of eight, I got the flu. Or XBB15 gay ass fucking... I don't know if anybody saw Jimmy Fallon do his little COVID song for the new variant. Um, there's a new variant, apparently. And I feel like they're trying to like push it on us, um, Pfizer and big pharma. I think they're, I feel like they're trying to like get it out there, like continue to like, it's, it's almost like when, um, fast and furious dropped like fast seven. It's like, we get it. It's cars and you race them. And there's always some Asian who is the fastest. Like we get it. Um, enough is enough. You know, can we get back to what matters? You know, The Sopranos, which is the only show worth watching. With this whole pandemic, it's like they keep on trying to one up the last one. You know, first it was like Delta and then it was Omicron like, to scare you. Uh, and then you, if you got your fifth booster, booster you, your fifth booster, you had to get your sixth booster. And then if you didn't have seven, well, you were going to die of the fucking plague, you know? And it's like... And then I don't know if anybody saw Jimmy Fallon make a complete fucking fool out of himself. I mean, whoever is writing this stuff, man, for the late shows and the daily shows and the Colberts and the Fallons, I mean, holy fuck. I feel like the writer's room is like either on some fucking drugs, like not the fun ones, like they're on like trazodone and like ambient, like either they're fucking delusional, lost mental cases, 
Or they're just trolling so hard and they know that it's so bad, but it's like a bit. Like for them, it's like, oh my God, let's go, let's watch Jimmy sing this bullshit song that my six-year-old with Down syndrome wrote this morning. Because that's what it sounds like. It literally sounds like they went to a school and went to the slow, the short bus and pulled off some fat kid named Tommy and they said, go write something down. And then they put Fallon on stage to recite it. That's how awful it was. Awful isn't even a good enough word. It was embarrassing. It was grotesque. It was atrocious. It wasn't comedy. The Patrice O'Neills and the Carlins and the Louis and the Burrs, that's fucking comedy, dude. Okay? So... Anyways, this is what happens, right? And this is this is my style of ranting. I, I go down these these wormholes and then I come back up and then I go down a rabbit hole like Alice in Wonderland and then I come back up, you know? So I was uh, talking about, so I went to London and then I went to France and my trip was halted then. I was going on an eight city excursion. Uh, I was supposed to do Switzerland and Italy. And I'm goddamn fucking pissed that I didn't get to see all those other places. But, you know, it just means that I will be able to go back again when it's warm at a better time. So I'm going to I'm going to pause right there and I'm going to ask you if you have ever heard of Paris syndrome, Paris syndrome. Uh, we're recording on the new equipment today and I have the video going. So uh, I'm going to just show the phone here just so you know livescience.com uh shout out to whoever posted this in the discord what is paris syndrome it's a real thing okay so paris paris syndrome basically means that paris sucks dick that's basically what it means in layman's terms um people are disoriented depressed irritable and physically ill I got Paris syndrome when I was fucking there, dude. I was so goddamn sick. And I'm talking like I don't I don't do any of the big pharma crap. I'm not you know, and I don't even want to use the words because my th two of my episodes have been pulled from YouTube. So hold on, can I talk about that for a minute? Two of my episodes have been pulled from YouTube because of misinformation regarding, you know, the fucking gay ass pandemic. But I have, what, 50 subscribers, and 42 of them are in my bloodline, so I have, like, realistically eight people that might listen to one episode a month. Who am I influencing? Who am I inspiring? You know, I'm not fucking Bill Gates or Joe Rogan with a huge platform. I'm just a fucking greaseball Italian in my studio apartment talking shit. Because it's cheaper than therapy. Therapy helps, too. Um, so. All right, I have to text this person back. But, uh, yeah, so basically, Paris syndrome. It just basically means that Paris sucks. And uh, I'm going to go go into the general chat real quick here on the, the Tim Dillon Discord server and just kind of share what some people have shared about France, rather. Um, it It's so funny because, like, let me make sure we're still going. Sorry, guys. This is my first time recording with this new setup, so we're just trying to get used to it. But um, it's just, it's so funny because this is, uh, this is what, this is what Theo Vaughn shared about uh, Paris. See if you can listen to this. If you put 70 French people in front of me, I don't like them. I don't, I just, they just, the way they, they're like, no, yeah. You don't want me, yeah. No, 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 no. They just, it sounds like, uh, uh. You just want to just pat them on the fucking back, boy. <laughs> I just want to spray paint my hand red, white, and blue and pat them bitches on the back oh, yeah. and get the fucking truth out of them. What are you trying to say? If you put 70 French people in front of you. Holy shit. 
Oh my god. I'm I'm sending that to my best friend. <laughs> oh my god. So basically, fuck France. I'm so glad they lost the World Cup. Fuck them. Fuck Mbappe and those other fags. Yes, this is not a podcast for the light heart, the faint hearted. If you don't like the word faggot, then don't listen to this. If you don't like the word retard, don't listen to this. Please do yourself a favor. Do me a favor. I don't want you to listen to it if you feel uncomfortable because you're going to report me to the YouTube uh, algorithm and they're going to pull it. So that's my faggy retard voice. Anyways, uh, whew. it's a lot. Yeah, so it's been it's been a month and a half. So uh, just getting some shit off my chest. Anyways, uh, I came home from France, yada, yada. I'm going back to Europe soon when it's warm this time because I shared this last time, but I was cold as balls, sick as fuck, and uh, I didn't brush up on my French because I only planned to spend a night there. So I was like doing the Italian version of Duolingo, you know, um, but it's uh I, I tried to go to these hospitals and shit in France and like none of those cocksuckers would even let me walk in their fucking doors because I had a American flag mask on. Fuck the France, the French. Uh, we bailed your asses out of World War II. We should have left you there. Fuck them. Dunkirk. All that shit. Normandy. <sighs> yeah, man. Paris Syndrome. That's going to be the episode of this. The, the, the title of this episode rather you know and i was really excited to go to switzerland i mean what the fuck the swiss alps you know uh switzerland has like according to probably the bill and melinda gates foundation but has the highest standard of living in the world uh switzerland uh just real quick to backtrack the French were just smug. You know the word smug? It makes it 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 makes me feel something uncomfortable when I when I say smug. You think of someone who's smug and they're just like, mm -hmm. I have three boosters and I just got COVID last week. It's like, who are you trying to be? And why are you like this? I don't use the word hate a lot unless it's in relation to uh, libs and now French. French is right there with me. So, um, I mean, what do even they what do they even offer other than macaroons, which suck dick? Have you ever had tiramisu or fucking sfogliatelle? Italian. See, this is the thing about Italians. All right. We're going to do another thing real quick for you here. Uh, Italians, see, fucking Italians, man. We're fucking, we fucking, the, the, first of all, the Roman Empire, Marcus Aurelius, the Stoics. Um, that's just like the beginning of it, dude. Espresso, cappuccino, dude. You know, romance, novels, the Sopranos, Goodfellas. The cuisine, the fucking food, ah, so good, so good, everything. The fuck is for you tell, and the mozzarella, and the prosciutto, and the gabagool, and the regatta, the pepperoni, eggs, the regatta, everything. And then don't even get me started on the pizza, the Napolitan, Sicilian, I mean, come on. I mean, come on, you know. Ah, fuck. So this this is fun. We could do a little clip episode, right? Um, the uh, fucking Sopranos, man, with the fucking Italian pride from the Sopranos. This is a really good clip, honestly. And Sopranos, I mean, come on, you know. When I'm when I'm getting in my car and I drive to the fucking gym, a lot of times I'll just throw this on. Yeah. And I feel like Tony. I got my Glock. Got to get yourself a gun. You know? 
I'm just cruising. Just the stank face, just. I mean, really though, Ser seriously though, like, I know The Wire's good, I know True Detective's good, but nothing touches The Sopranos, man. So yeah, so yeah, um, but the Italian Pride clip was what I really wanted to talk about. Because uh, I don't know how much of it is true when he talks about the World War II guys and shit, but it is a fucking damn good clip, you know. So let me see if I could find it real quick, and then, uh, you know, I won't I won't keep you too long. But here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Fucking ads, bro. Come on. Brought to you by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Have you looked into Pfizer today? Are you trans? No, here you go. Yeah. One guy wasn't so bad, Harris. Trust me, he was the biggest sneak out of all of them. It's all part of his little act. And that guy that broke the ball, he did that on purpose. Oh, I don't think so. He was just a klutz. What was his last name? Rizzo, Razzo, what? Grasso. 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 You think it's a coincidence they sent him? If he wasn't Italian, he'd be back at the office sweeping up. The stupid jerk. They probably frisk him every night before he goes home. Why? Why? Because he's a Valentine of his name. That's why Grasso. I mean, what's he think? He's, he's going to make it to the top by arresting his own people? Pass the motion. He'll see. He'll learn. We have a vow. I've been right, and you'll be proud of it. Jesus Christ, you think there never was a Michelangelo, the way they treat people. Did you know that an Italian invented the telephone? Alexander Graham Bell was Italian. You see? You see what I'm talking? Antonio Meucci invented the telephone, and he got robbed. Everybody knows that. Who invented the mafia? What? La Cosa Nostra, who invented that? Who cares? Wasn't it Salvatore Lucana, better known as Charlie Lucky Luciano, who organized the five families? Lucchese, Gambino, Bonanno, Profaci. Bonanno? Is there something you want to say to me? I just like history, like you, Dad. Can you just shut the fuck up about it? Hey. Hey. Hey, oh, hey. AJ, did you know that John Cabot was Italian? Whoa. Like he knows who that is. It's the famous discoverer of Canada. The Bank of America. You ever heard of it? One of the biggest banks in the world. Started by an Italian. The first American saint was Italian. Mother Cabrini. That's right. Is it true that the Chinese invented spaghetti? Now think about it. Why would people who eat with sticks invent something that you need a fork to eat? <laughs> And here's something else I bet you didn't know. More Italians fought for this country in World War II than any other ethnic group. And I won't tell you about Sacco Vanzetti either. The two Antichrists that got the electric chair in Massachusetts? Anarchists. Isn't it Antichrist? There were two innocent men who got the chair because they were Italian. All right, so... Anyways, I don't know if it's true about the more Italians fought, for, fought in World War II. I looked into it. I don't... There's not a lot of information on it, so that very well could be a bit or a lie or whatever. But um, just just a fascinating clip when they're sitting around the table, and it's so funny because the the hypocrisy in it is that they're they're eating Chinese food, they're eating Chinese takeout as they talk about Italians, Italians. So you know. The, the first Italian, or the first person to invent the telephone was not Alexander Alexander Graham Bell. He's the one who, like, made it into what it is or whatever. But the guy who did voice-to-voice -voice first was the fucking bison with the vowel in the last name. He invented this shit right here. So, I don't know if it's a good thing, bad thing, a curse, but fucking Snapchat's for the birds. All that social media bullshit. OnlyFans and Instagram, it's just brought nothing but division and um, depression, anxiety, low self-esteem for a lot of people. Com comparing, you know, because comparison is the um, 
thief of all happiness or whatever. So, uh, but look at look at all the architecture in in Italy. Have you looked into not even just in Rome alone, but Rome has like the Sistine Chapel. Um, but look look at the the Colosseum uh, in Milan. The fucking or Colosseum, Jesus Christ. Um, the cathedral, the cathedral. I was thinking of the word mausoleum, um, but yeah. So I really did want to go to Vatican City so bad to see the Sistine Chapel, Saint Peter's Basilica, obviously the Colosseum of Rome. So I was pretty bummed that I came home, but you know. I, I, I thought about it when I was there and I was like, man, maybe I can just go to a hotel and like dry out and get better and rest and hydrate. But I was so sick and I was so sick of trying to get into these clinics in fucking Paris that I just said, fuck it. And I came home and I think I'm I think I'm glad I did, because even when I got home, I was still sick for like two more weeks. I mean, I wasn't like dying for two weeks, but it would have been a long fucking journey to get better and then travel to all these other countries. So I'm going back next time. I'm going to bring a fucking pound of vitamin D with me and just, you know, do it again. Just do it again. So what else? What else? Uh, Life. Life, man. Fucking. (laughs) I usually don't even talk like this, but I've been watching so much of the Sopranos and I just bought a bunch of Gabagool and pancetta today or yesterday. So I'm just like in this like Italian fucking mindset, dude, you know, and I'm all jacked up on coffee too. So, but, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's do this. Let's do this little intermission here. I told the guys in the chat, we were going to read some confessions today. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Confession number 458, February 6th, 2023. I used to jerk off to my crypto balance quite frequently. However, lately, it's not making me spittle like it used to. I think I should get into real estate. (laughs) It's a pretty good one. I'm actually, wait. Yeah, after long considering I have determined your mom gay... So someone just is retarded in the chat. Milo <laughs> eats the hairs he plucks from his nose. Oh. I know who this is. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gay. That's confession 446. And then confession 445. LOL. Fag. With like 5G's. 5G. 5G. I punch my balls and rip my pubes out of frustration sometimes. Anonymous confession 443. Confession 442. Casual racism was the only thing that made this place worth visiting. Now it's just a meeting place for faggots to talk about faggoty shit as as if Reddit doesn't already exist. They said as of Reddit, but it's I guess they meant to say as if Reddit doesn't exist with six gay flag emojis for a reaction. Um Oh, here we go. Anonymous confession 436. I dreamed of Italian sausage. And by that, I mean Kai's delicious cock. It was in my mouth. This is not Milo, please believe me. Wow. Confession 433. It's not gay if you don't swallow. Eh, Debatable. 432, I just want to load up my truck with guns and live in the woods until all the normies have died off. That's fair. They're probably watching The Last of Us, which uh, seems to be a very good show. I watched the first two episodes, and I had to change it 
because the fucking I know it's like CGI and fake, but like the graphics are like the dead people with like their fucking guts coming out of their eye. Like I just I don't know, man. I think I was like eating something at the time, and I just was like, so. Um. Yeah. So those are some confessions. Uh, a lot of these are from December now. Okay, so I think the the confession bot wasn't working for about a month, so we didn't have as much. But um, in other news, we do have the Super Bowl tomorrow. So it's what uh, Pat Mahomes. And um, the fuck's the guy's name, dude? Uh, Jalen Hurts. The matchup predictor is 53% for the Chiefs and 467 for the Eagles. I was completely wrong. I, I thought it was going to be the Niners and the Bengals. I will say that Joe Burrow is like just super fucking cool man like joe cool you know he's like the new joe montana he rocks like really dope shit and he's like stylish on the field obviously pat mahomes is one of the one of the greatest who does it like that he throws like the sidearm like vic used to do but uh i don't know man joe burrow is just the man when he was born this is an interesting fact when joe burrow was born he drove his mom home from the hospital it actually is true. So, uh, and then he also um, can dribble a bowling ball. That's how much of a baller Joe Burrow is. And uh, I got that nine on me, like Burrow. God, that sounds super cringe. Super cringe. Super cringe. Got a big snowstorm coming tonight. Um, got a new Patreon. Released uh, last night from the Lemon Party. It's my new favorite podcast for sure. You know, and that's why I haven't really been doing the podcasting. In addition to kind of like, like I said, coming into the new year and just slowing down, balance, finding out what I want to continue to do, finding out what I don't want to continue to do. And I've also added some things into the doing and then subtracted some things. So I think... Therapy, super helpful as of late. Uh, hot yoga, super beneficial. Also, you know, still doing the the BJJ and the weights and the saunas and the cold showers. Well, that will never stop. But uh, definitely added some hot yoga into the routine. Some Bikram yoga. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Gam Ganapate Namaha. You know. And uh, yeah, so that's been super beneficial super shiva shanti dude <laughs> and then after class i fill up my 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 hydro flask with some krishna punch you know and just ohm all the way ohm dude but so that's kind of what i've been up to i also started a new uh career field i did insurance sales for two years fuck that company scam artist good uh did make some good money there but long term, just not somewhere I see myself. So I'm doing something else now. It is none of your business what I do, but it is OnlyFans. It's actually, so it's not OnlyFans. It's called OnlyFucks. So unlike OnlyFans, where you're just looking at them through a screen, you can actually fuck me on OnlyFucks if you pay. If you pay good money, you know? So, <laughs> but... uh Try and try my hand at some comedy here today, ladies and gentlemen. Da -ba -da -ba, boo -ba -da -bee, ba -ba -da -boo, yeah, you know. So that's basically what we got here. Um, every time I finish a pod, I always go, oh, man, I should have said that. Or, you know, oh, man, I shouldn't have said that. And that's just judgment. And so that's something I'm I'm learning with the, the new professional that I've been seeing. This podcast is brought, uh, is brought to you by BetterHelp. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com. Betterhelp 
com slash ultra. That was pretty convincing, huh? Yeah, I know. But uh, so basically, yeah, that's pretty cool to uh, to work on with uh, la therapy is like not like worrying about shit. It's just that sounded retarded. Um, basically, like I overthink a lot of stuff, and so doing a lot of work on that and that. What does that look like? What is your intention behind that? I hate all those gay faggy words. I honestly, I really do. But um, uh, yeah, it what it looks like for me is like I actually wrote I actually wrote some stuff down in my moleskin because I'm better than you. <laughs> God damn, dude. Um. Yeah, what is it? Like, uh, here we go. So a, a good question to ask myself when I am having like fearful thoughts or uncomfortable feelings in my body is what am I trying to reject right now? Something that's been helpful for me. Um, and then one of the um, motives or intentions rather, for some reason, that word is just so gay to me, intention. Set your intention and just erect the spine and as your cock is erected. It just sounds so fucking gay. But my my intention going into these next few weeks is to not reject anything that I'm feeling or thinking. But the opposite is um, rather to like lean in more. So intention is I want to do whatever it is that I'm doing. So if I'm if I'm like uncomfortable and I'm like just like wanting to like escape and get some like instant gratification instead of doing that I want to be like all right this is this is how it is right now this is how I feel and then just settle into the breath and sit there for 15 minutes and inhale belly rise exhale belly falls yeah, but straight up, bro. Meditation is key. Meditated in the sauna today. I did a little session. I did 20 minutes of meditation uh, and breath work. Because, again, I'm better than you because I do breath work. <laughs> Smug-ass fucking libs. Uh, but I did 20 minutes in the sauna, and then I did a three-minute cold shower. 23, Michael Jordan. And then I did another 20 minutes in the sauna and stretched and then a cold shower. That's about an hour um, practice. What is your practice this year? Like literally like this year, I'm just trying to lean into um, my negative energy and set my intention for Saturn return. Fucking kill yourself instead. Do that first and then I will do all the grunt work, but I won't call it all of the gay shit that you people call it you go into the sauna and it's all these guys with like a ponytail and they like think they got it like figured out they're all trendy with their fucking chacos or whatever and they all have these fucking theories it's so fucking cringe it's like yeah man like when i when i like open up my heart chakra when i sit in the sauna like I really balance out my fucking, like, root solar plexus. Like, oh, dude. And then I go climbing at Smack, the Smoky Mountain Adventure Center. And, like, my center line is, like, so balanced. And, like, all of my intentions are just there. And I sit in that. What does that even fucking mean? Oh, I swear to God. All these people are, like, microdosing ketamine and, like... I'll have a fucking dog with them. Like, yeah, check out my dog Sparky, dude. He's woke as fuck. I just gave him his seventh booster. He can't really breathe right now, but he'll be fine. So just come over to my place. Yeah, what's your name, Sarah? Oh, you're trans? That's fine. Just come over to my place. Uh, I'll just do some forcible penetration on you. Uh, and then Sparky and you can just go take a nap, dude. I'll just give you guys some fucking... Ambience, dude, and then fucking you can just head out and go back to Ohio because that's where all the pieces of shit are from. 
Every person who sucks is from France, more specifically uh, Paris, and Ohio. So I think the, the worst two places, yeah, Paris, Columbus, or Paris, um, Dayton, or whatever the fuck Ohio people come from in Ohio. There's what? Cincinnati, Cle- ooh, Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland definitely takes the W for the shittiest city in the fucking union. So, fuck yeah, man. I got to go because I got to drive to Charlotte now. But it's been fun. It's been real. This was episode, uh, what did we say, fucking 26. Uh, We're going to name it after the fucking piece of shit country that we uh, went to. Um, What is uh, Paris Syndrome? Uh, It's been the MKI Ultra Show. All right, guys. Peace.